I just finished uh, this uh, restoration of a, a bell strap, um, and you can see from the, the distant picture that the original bell strap, the really long strap uh, to the back, is quite a bit longer than the new bell strap, and that was because the owner and I agreed that um, the bells were spaced pretty far apart, and he wanted a shorter strap for display, um, which makes it a little bit more attractive. Reuse the original buckle, and the, the buckle end from the first bell to the buckle fold is essentially the same on both straps. The bells are graduated in size. They come up to a large center bell, and what I did with the pattern for the new strap was make the spacing between the bells consistent but then the distance between the center lines of each of the bells it varies along the strap. The bigger bells are a little further apart with the same spacing between the edges and the smaller bells are closer together but again with that same spacing between the edges. The other end of the strap, the new strap, is similar. I'll slide it down here. Similar to the original. Um, but I did try to make the overall length of the billet end, this end with the holes for the buckle, um, about as close to the original length um, and general design as possible. So that's one thing that can be done with sleigh bell straps is um, modify some of the spacing. Neat Hobbs, Hobbsy.